Hello, hello, and welcome back for the third part of the Imperfections tutorial. We're going to be going over the snake and the hourglass. Okay. Whenever you're drawing a snake, it is not the easiest creature to do, even though it's all just like a swiggly line with thickness, it just is not the best thing. What I have to do is find a good reference. This one is an albino python, and since its surroundings is pink and I obviously couldn't get an albino python to be pink, I had to make it look pink. So what I did was I drew out the albino python, and as I colored it in, I just went over certain parts with a light pink to make it look like that was the snake's color. So what I started out with was beige, so I colored him beige first, and then his curves, those parts of him I would go over in pink, and some parts I would go over in purple, and the darker parts I would use purple just to help it look like a uh, shading, but a purplish shading to match the pink tone. And for the water part I used a... Prisma color. Uh, the Prisma color's name was Putty. It actually looks like a mixture of a flesh tone with almost a natural underwater look. So all I had to do was go over that one area that where the water was submerging over the uh, snake and put that putty color, and it actually looked like it was going underwater. I actually used that color in a lot of my other sketches to help make people look like they're submerged underwater. In my hourglass, I am going over in uh, Prismacolor as well. I'm using sand, and over the sand, I'm going over it with a light brown. And then to make the hourglass look like it's actually standing out, I'm just going to have that in white for the uh, reflections of light that come off of the hourglass. On the other side, I have to add a little pink, well, a lot of pink to the uh, reflection of the side of the hourglass because if the surroundings of your item, whatever you're drawing is pink, then, or whatever color it may be, then since it's glass, it reflects the same thing with water, it reflects, so you have to add that color into the reflection. Uh, you don't have to do, go crazy with it. It depends on the pick you're doing, but you can easily just make it look like The item is that's next to it is actually uh, Reflecting off of it by just adding either the color or tracing out that effect a little bit Doing the uh, hourglass was not the easiest thing I had to match both sides. In order to match both sides, I had to draw out one side first. I used actually tracing paper and traced over the other side, flipped the tracing paper over, and then traced out the same thing I did on the other side so that way it'll come out onto the other side looking and the exact size it needed to be. I also added butterflies inside of the hourglass just to have more of a uh, adventurous look. So every time somebody looks at the hourglass, they'll see something new. Most of the sand I couldn't do with black. When you try and go over it with black, it can screw it up. So what I did was just use those dark browns. Uh, dark greens and w solid white so that way when the solid white came through you'd actually be able to see the curves of it and for certain parts I did use black on the bottom and I used also sand uh, Prismacolor sand on top of that black mark just to help it out a little bit more and for the top of the snake, well, the center of the snake going around, I had to re put it right back underwater. So I ended up using the same technique to finish it out. Uh, 
uh, this is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll get more tutorials to you soon.